Hey everybody, MST3K Forever here with Let's Continue Playing Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. I'm not one to usually eat my words on this one, but everybody, and I do mean everybody, wanted me to continue doing this LP, so here we go. Continuing on with Aquastar. Alright, uh, just to make sure here, I'm going to be collecting most of the shards, but I'm not going to be, ow, in pain. I'm not gonna be. A st <laughs> I'm not gonna be a stickler about collecting all of them because I have a profile with all of them on there. So we'll be doing the full game, but I'm not sure you'll be having to watch me go through and agonizingly get every single goddamn shard. So here we go. Dude, that was not supposed to work. Okay, let's turn this down a little bit so I can think. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Wait, that made something? Oh yeah, those guys are rock. Huh, <laughs> I remember this power. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Fun bit of Kirby history here. Uh, I need electrical rock to break those. But, uh, this power, rock cutter, gives you a fun little ability. You form... Fish is useless. These are all buddy characters from Kirby 3, I believe. And each one of them has their own different ability. Rick here can climb walls. Uh, the fish can look left and right. Very impressive for a fish. The bird can fly. The cat can double jump. Which is pretty much useless. But they're all sort of a fun little nod to the... Uh, the bird is by far the most useful character because he can fly and he can roll. But these were all characters from uh, Kirby 3, which was another really fun game. And essentially how they worked was, they were essentially the other half of the power setup. Like here, in this game you have, you know, Earth and you have uh, Cutter. So those are your two powers. On well, the other game, you couldn't combine powers. So what you had was, if you had, say, Earth, then you'd have, you know, Rock, and you could, uh... Yes. You'd have rock, and, uh... Then you'd have one of your partners, and they would augment the powers. I remember with, uh, you had electricity, and I think the fish. Then, uh, the fish would, like, spit out a, a light bulb. And that was how you used that ability. Really fun and interesting dynamic on that one, because it was... Penguin. Let's go with double rock, because I like it. Oh shit, they can still eat me when I'm giant rock? That's not fair. Stupid frogs. Mm. Let's go bomb. Gimme, gimme. Okay, moving on. Uh, oh, these guys. Annoying little bastards. But easy enough to kill. Fish out of water there. Oh, rock guy. Have I shown off fire uh, bomb yet? I think I have. Yeah, if not, I'll show it off later. Look how he serves some, like, tennis balls. Really interesting. Alright, so. Oh, jump. Up and. Ow! <sighs> Keep thinking these guys can hit me while I'm sucking them up. Ow! And fall on me. Come here, fish. Oh, I didn't know you. The first time I played that game, I almost didn't see that guy. Spit. I want those guys to give me a power so bad, like spear? I mean, they have spears, they should give me pointy power. Oh man. This is kind of an odd little boss. Essentially, all I have to do is sit under him and spike. And then Ribbon there, grab it. Yeah, that's the fairy's name, Ribbon. I find someone left it in the comments and I finally remembered. Her name's Ribbon. And that is... Oh, hell. Adelaide, Alexandra... I think it, it starts with an A. I'll remember it by next time. <laughs> I love double spike, though. You get it. Uh, hornet sting, fork, protractor, nail. So what else? Cactus? 
Oh, here we go. Come here. Uh, somebody said this is one of their favorite powers, and I have to agree with them. It's one of mine, too. No, actually, that's wrong. That's that's not it. Come here. Damn it. Come up. Here we are. Cutter and... Bastard! I will get it. Damn it. Come here. Cutter and... Electricity. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, that's not the power we need to get in through here. What we need is bomb and ice. Which unfortunately is not on the menu here, so I guess we're not going to get that shard. Pity. It's kind of a cool one. One of the fun parts about this is if you just turn around, it does the damage. You only have to twirl. Just turning will kill people. Ow. Unfortunately, falling on them doesn't work quite as well. It's still one of the cooler powers, though. I think this came out uh, right around the time of the Phantom Menace, so that's where that came from. Let's see, I want to grab card. And come on. Little jump, little jump, little jump, little jump, little jump! Yeah! Got it! Sweet. Okay, all but one on that one. Oh, I remember this stage. You cannot fight Doth Kirby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game came out some a little time after the Phantom Menace, so Darth Maul inspired, yeah. Oh wait, cake. Cake is not a lie! Yay, cake! Son of a... Give me that. Be hit. Another throwback is these guys. I don't know if I talked about them earlier, but they are in every Kirby game. Every single one. Indestructible. Completely annoying. Actually, I think in one, one, one Kirby game, they were you. You could defeat them, but it was only with a. It was only like a very specific power, and only at one time. And I'm sweating buckets right now, hoping I outrun this damn thing. There we go, penguin. Yeah, penguin. Didn't really work that well against the current. All right, there we go. This was so the wrong power to use. Eh. Ah! Should have gotten Volcano. Oh well. Just another under the ad that I don't get. Need Volcano power to that one. That's rock and fire. Onward and upward. See, Waddle Doo should be coming. There he is. Alright, we're gonna do this Huck Finn style. Come on! Hop. Pop, 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 pop. Cake! On cake! And food! Yeah! Put it up. It'll hop. Hop. Oh, damn it. Flip. Flip is cool. Yeah! Got it! Waddle Doo leads to some of the more interesting uh, aspects of the game. There's the minecart ride, he'll help you out. But I think. Uh, oh, damn it. Aside from uh, King Dedede, I don't think there are any other offensive uh, partners that you have in this game. Uh, well, maybe Ribbon, but that's only at the very end. If you do it right. Okay, here we go. Oh. Want it, want it! Yeah! Invincible! 
Indestructible Kirby! And now I'm not. Oh, wait, damn it! Jump! 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 And spin! And I can pretty much keep doing this until the end of the stage. Which is right now. Uh, this is gonna take way too long. Let's keep, just keep going with this. Oh, I remember this part. Fucking spike bastards. Yeah, double snow is kind of useless in this area. In fact, double snow is kind of useless in most areas. Ow. Yeah. You know, the more I look at it, doubles of the same power? How did that work? weird. I didn't think climbing into them would actually hurt them. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I think uh, doubles of the same power- Oh shit, ow. Doubles of the same power, for the most part, is all pretty useless. I mean, double- Double fire just gives you a longer burst. Double snow is practically useless unless you're going downhill. And come on. Okay, big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump. Yeah! And phone. 